how y'all doing? Uh, today we're going to look at a Marshall Lee 12 amplifier. I just picked this up from a f local fellow on Craigslist and he tells me that it's not working. Uh, it's not plugged in right now. Um, and it looks like it's in fairly good cosmetic shape. The Tolex in it is pretty good. It's got the, uh, the two 10 inch speakers with it. Um, but what I wanted to do is make a video here and show you the teardown of this thing and um, and we'll repair it together. Um, so like I said, he said it wasn't working. Um, and uh, so let me just take this out of the out of the uh, case and uh, we'll have a quick look at it. Okay. This thing is a dog. Look at that. There's been something either spilled in here, some old pieces of wood, there's an old bug. This board here is filthy. There's something on it. I don't know whether that's bug parts or whatever that is. It doesn't look like anything's really been spilled on it. Um, you can see here the fuse. The fuse is definitely blown. We'll pull that out of there. And um, put that in our parts bin. Transformer is dirty as snot. Everything is just basically dirty in here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I think, is I'm going to pull out this, this board and um, just have a look at the back side of it, the front side of it, then clean it off and then clean off this chassis and see if there's uh, anything really wrong with it that I can see before I plug it in. Um, the guy that I got it from said he used it in the past but I don't think he's used it for several years look at that I don't know just all that crap on that board um, yeah so let me go ahead and uh, pull this apart and then uh, we'll have a look at the board here all right so I pulled the board out back side of that board actually looks pretty good. Let's have a look here and see if we can if we can see anything that's particularly out of sorts. Some more bug parts and whatever this crap is on here. I don't know if this is bugs and, and mice. There's a nice little cockroach leg right there. I'm thinking this has just been in someone's garage or basement and then leave it a very clean area. Washer. Nothing really looks burnt. Yuck. I'm going to go ahead and give this a spray with parts cleaner. See if I can get, get these bugs off of here. This bug parts off of here. Then uh, what we'll do is we'll take some measurements across this primary or against this transformer across the primary and secondary parts of this transformer. Make sure that's working. Um, and then we'll plug it in and see what we can get out of it. All right, so I'm um, just gonna. Well, let's just do this a little bit off camera here. Contact cleaner. And Q-tips here. Oh, yeah, look at all that bug 
juice coming off of there. Okay, well this is kind of scraping off. Nothing looks really horribly damaged here. The tracks all look good on this board. I think this has just been this just sort of blew something and then the, uh, the guy never used it again. This is the south, and we do have a lot of insects. This one looks like it was used as a bug farm. Now. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and clean this board up, and then uh, we'll be back, and I'm going to clean the chassis up here, too, and and uh, then we'll go from there, okay? Well, I've taken the circuit board out of this, circuit board is here and those bugs have just had a field day on here there's just bug poop and bug parts and bug sex just everywhere on this damn thing I don't know how the heck I'm going to get that damn thing cleaned same with the uh, with the chassis I mean I've scraped it up a little bit but this bug poop just is just stuck in there and it's eating eating into the metal Nice little sticker, manufacturing sticker, and that's all covered in bug poop. So I just don't know what the heck I'm going to do to get this thing clean. I've tried this contact cleaner and a little bit of steel wool inside here, and it's it's taken off there. It's knocking off the bug poop, but it's not really taking off the tarnish. So I'm going to try a couple of different things here and see what I can find and then I'll get back to you so guess what works on bug poop Windex let's have a look here Oops. I'll do this one handed taking some of the writing off of that uh, inspection sticker but looky there it's getting rid of the bug poop let's try on this uh, power transistor here amazing so just a little bit of uh, Windex and a triple lot steel wool here and I think I'm going to be able to get this board pretty clean. Um, this has just got vinegar on it. It says gentle on all surfaces. So I'm not going to use this on the copper side of this board, but this is, this is just a one-sided board. So I'll be able to get all the bug poop out of here. And then I'll, uh, I'll try this on the chassis too and see if that works. Well, I've pretty much gone ahead and cleaned everything I can out. I took everything out of the chassis and got all the bug bits out of it, but uh, all that bug goo has really eaten into this chassis. Um, I mean, it just looks pitted, and um, there's not a whole lot I can do. I tried to save this label. I have to do a little more cleanup out in this area here, uh, but I just didn't want to get that label um, messed up. Um, so as we see, it's a 3005 Marshall amp. It was built on 11 12 1987, and. Uh, The board here has come up pretty nice. Um, the transformer, 
tops being tops pitted I can't get all that out but um, I did a quick test on the transformer and the uh, seems to be working fine I mean there's there's um, there's resistance between the all these different contacts down here where it should be and um, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish cleaning all these components I've got other stuff here I need to clean like the output uh, output jacks and crap around the switches and the power connector uh, I'm gonna have to order some more uh, knobs so the gold top knobs I'm gonna go ahead and order those here pretty quickly um, a lot of them are cracked but you know we'll be able to get this thing working really well I hope um, there doesn't seem to be really anything obvious on this board um, it did have a blown fuse but it may have blown the fuse because bug parts um, nothing looks burned back back here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test some of these resistors and just make sure that these um, power um, power transistors are are um, I'm not shorted out but other than that um, you know I'll start putting this together and then we'll start doing some of these tests together and um, see if we can't get this thing up and running